Hello, hello! Welcome back to the vlog. It has been a couple days since I uploaded that last video, but I'm starting a new vlog for you guys because we have a long weekend ahead. It is Thursday, and I have an event to attend tonight, and then tomorrow we are leaving for Houston, so got a lot to share. But today, I'm so excited because I'm gonna go to like Michael's or Joanne's or something and get some crafting stuff. I've been in like a crafting mood and I'm thinking about like DIY Christmas gifts, so I'm excited to share whenever I figure out what I'm gonna do, but I'm taking Jake to work so that I can have the car for once. And yeah, we're gonna go to like a crafting store. This is like, there you go. <laughs> Turns out we don't have Michael, so we're headed to Joanne. Okie doke, we're back and I had to go get Charlie's food, pick up Jake, and then I got some air clay, air dry clay at Joanne Fabrics, which I've always called it Joanne's, but I guess that's not what it is. So I got some of this and I'm gonna make some cute things with it, but I'm excited to dig into this. I've seen so many videos lately of air dry clay. Oh, did I just break this? And I'm just, I just wanna try it, you know? Here's what we have. Don't worry, she will not be able to access it. But I wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that I wanna make. This is the first thing I'm gonna make and I don't think that she watches these, so I think we'll be fine. Like these thumb things, you put your thumb in and like opens the book and like keeps it open. So we're gonna try that first. We're just gonna get a chunk. I don't know how big I need to do it. I feel like is quite dry i'm just gonna like mold it a little bit and kind of like move it around and get it like warmed up i guess and watch some youtube videos because i've subscribed to a couple of people recently that i am excited to watch one of them is let me see oh cecilia and she lives in svalbard i watched her on tiktok and now i realize she has a youtube and now i'm loving watching the YouTube videos. Good morning, it's the next day and I am cleaning the house or at least trying to put things away and get it mostly clean. Don't mind my hair, I cannot get this piece to stay down. Yeah, I'm trying to get things mostly clean because we're leaving for Houston this weekend and I really don't want to come home to a nasty house. Our dishwasher is starting not to clean our dishes. And it's like from 2000 something, <laughs> three maybe. Say, clean those dishes, girl. Clean your dishes. now in Fort Worth and oh my goodness 
Charlie's here. She's just staring at this person over here. We are stopping here at Smokeaholics Barbecue in Fort Worth to get some food. It's about dinner time. We are headed to Houston, as I mentioned earlier. And yeah, we are very excited to eat something. I am very tired. Jake woke me up this morning at like 6, 15, I think. This is Smokeaholics. And I will let you know how it is. I am clearly very tired. And we're not gonna even get to Houston until like 9, 20. I am so hungry and I'm so tired. Maybe we'll get a coffee. Okay, we've got some brisket, some toast, and some pickled. Is there another box down there? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then we've got macaroni, I think. What is this, corn? Cream corn, yeah. Cream and then their sauce, and then we've got pork belly. Hold this. We've got ribs, and then the same box. So, we are good to go. I haven't done a Charlie update in a long time, I feel like, because she's not really a puppy anymore. And I mean, she is in, until 18 months, I think. And that's December-ish. So she's about to be not a puppy anymore. She's still barely, like she's at the tail end of puppyhood. Thank God. But you have eye boogies on your forehead, Charlie. She is 55 pounds, which I think is smaller than what we were expecting. We got her from a breeder in Germany. And before anyone has anything to say about that, Americans in our area were not allowed to adopt from shelters and breeders in Germany have a lot higher of standards than they do here. We have like a whole thing of pedigree, like we know who her, gra her great grandparents are, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, we loved our breeder there. Anyways, I think she was the runt because She's a lot smaller than I expected her to be. She is still working on recall and she's still working on like not eating sticks outside. That's like her big thing. We recently had to take her to the vet because she throws up because she, I think it's because she eats sticks outside and yeah, it kind of sucks because we pretty much got a backyard for her. We literally did get a backyard for her and she has a lot of space and can't use it because she eats sticks on the ground and then has to go to the vet and costs us money. Oh, gotta love it. She sleeps so much, like literally all day long and love that about her <laughs> because when she was a puppy, I had to like actually put her down for a nap because she wouldn't sleep unless I put her in her kennel. Like she just thought it was playtime all the time. And so when she was probably about how old were you? Eight months, maybe? I don't know exactly. It was like before she was a year old. I let her take naps like outside of the kennel and then I would still like do naps in the kennel until she was probably, I don't know. I didn't do like nap times again whenever she we moved here. So she was in April, she was nine months old. I stopped like doing like like literally scheduled naps and she just like would be in her kennel for a certain amount of time whenever we'd leave. But now she sleeps enough that I don't have to worry about like making sure that she's sleeping enough because she has calmed down quite a bit. We are still working on her recall, like I said, and we are still working on her being around other dogs. The problem that we have with that is that we don't really know anyone with puppies her age. So a lot of like our family dogs are the youngest one. I don't even know, honestly, but the, the dogs that are her size that are like our dogs are like five and up. They just don't wanna play with her cause she wants to play and they don't. So that's been our issue with her, not like issue, but just like our, you know, things we need to work on with her is getting her a little bit more socialized with dogs. We've been taking her out to Petco a little bit more. We've been taking her out like anytime we go somewhere, like if we're going through a drive through somewhere or whatever, <laughs> she goes to that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm in her spot, so she's like, can you move so I can lay down and look out the window? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the Charlie update. You don't wanna say hello? You just wanna stand in front of me? <laughs> okay, she's had enough, so that's her update. 
Okay, I got these from the Dollar Tree. I know they don't really match. Get down. I know they don't really match, but they were $1.25 and they match the ones that are up here. So, it's just gonna have to do. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look horrible. Good morning. Today is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and my mom and dad are coming and today is my mom's birthday. So, I'm setting some stuff up, I can't see it, for her birthday in our guest room because I haven't gotten to spend a birthday with my mom in like forever. So I got this uh, cute happy birthday ribbon, happy birthday balloons. We got a happy birthday banner. We also got some of this like fringe backdrop, doorway, whatever. And then I also got her some happy birthday candles that we're gonna put on our apple pie tomorrow for Thanksgiving. So, I really hope you enjoyed this randomness of all randomness vlog. I have absolutely no idea what all is in this vlog, but I will find out shortly. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.